Hello and welcome back. Uh, I'm going to show you some simple techniques uh, how to make a uh, 3D light bulb with your effects in, a, in Adobe Illustrator. Uh, as you can see I've opened up a blank document here. I've named it light bulb. You can name it whatever you want. Uh, <clears throat> the first thing that I did was I turned on my rulers. Uh, you can do that by going up to view at the top down to rulers and uh, it's a, it should say turn on rulers I think or show rulers show rulers and uh, since I had mine on it said hide rulers but uh, I'll go ahead and turn them on or you can press control R on your keyboard to toggle them on and off and I'll leave mine on first thing I want to do is I want to click on the left hand side ruler and drag a guide into the middle of my page next thing I'll do is I'll zoom in on that just so you guys can see it a little bit better okay I'm going to select my uh, pen tool out of my tools and I'm going to draw half of a light bulb and that's because with the 3D tools that I'm using in Illustrator, you only ever have to draw half of an object. It's called a, a 3D revolve tool. And so I'll draw half of a light bulb like I said I was going to do. And I'll just pick a point here. Uh, the reason that we made that guide is just so that we know where our center point is. And you can kind of just copy this shape that I'm making. And I usually, what I'll do here is I'll just make a real basic shape and then I'll kind of come in and refine it with my direct select tool in a second. So what I, like I just said, I'll uh, take my direct select tool here on my toolbar and I'll select some of my points and kind of move them around uh, to where I want them exactly. And I'll just take this anchor and I'll pull it up a little bit. And like I said, if you just kind of copy what I've made here, you should be pretty, pretty well set. I think this is down a little too far, so I'll move this up a little bit. Okay. something kind of like that it's starting to look pretty good okay and I'm gonna go with that for now uh, certainly you know you could uh, spend a little bit more time on it and refine it a little bit if you'd like I'll go ahead and make it bigger so you can see it okay so there's our uh, basic light bulb shape and that's just the bulb part um, we'll make the uh, the kind of where the part that screws in in a little bit. Okay, so what I'll do is I'm going to go ahead um, and select a yellow stroke because we want our light bulb to be yellow so that it looks like it's turned on. So what I'll do is I'll just double click on the stroke here and I'll select yellow and I'll want it to be a very light yellow because uh, what we'll do later with our shading is select a darker yellow to kind of to kind of shade and you'll just see how it works when we do it. Okay, so we ha we have a very light yellow, and you can you can hardly even see it here. Uh, <coughs> and what we'll do is we'll go up to the top to Effect, down to 3D, and Revolve. Go ahead and select Preview in your uh, settings there. And as you can see, uh, you have a basic bulb shape. And uh, you'll probably see it like this on your screen. And what you want to do is click on the more options. As you can see, it doesn't really look like a light bulb right now because of the, the dark shading. <clears throat> and that's just with all the default settings right now. So I clicked the more options button here and it gave us all these shading options down here. And you can see that the shading color is set to black. We want to set that to a darker yellow and that'll uh, give us our light bulb color. It automatically selects red, which is kind of cool. If you want to do different color light bulbs, you can do that but I want to just do a standard light bulb so I'll click on that color and I'll select a yellow and I'll just select a fairly normal yellow color and as you can see that's what we have and that's pretty much the bulb part of our light bulb and we'll click OK uh, the bottom's a little bit big I'm gonna go ahead and move that in a little bit I'll take my direct select tool and just select this one point and I'll just move it in a, a little bit and you can see that it, uh, it kind of fixes itself uh, it does the 3D Revolve tool automatically. And hopefully it goes a little bit quickly here. Okay. And, you know, that's going to just be good enough for now because I don't want to do that again on the video. Uh, okay. So we have our basic bulb shape here, and I'll make the, uh, the bottom area. So what I'll do is I'm going to take my pen tool, and I'm just going to click on the line once again somewhere down a little ways 
and I'll just pull the anchor a little bit to make it rounded and I'll click down a little ways once again and I'll make a shape that's just kind of a sideways U shape and I'll select a stroke on that that's a little bit darker gray and that's just going to be kind of a silver look for our, our screwing in part there uh, and what I'll do is I'm gonna I'll zoom in on this for you so you can see it better so I have this shape right here and I'll go ahead and set that on my line and so you can see that it's uh, it's on it's centered on my line once again and what I'll do is I'll just take that and I'm gonna go ahead and press control C on this keyboard and control V to copy it and I'll move this one down directly from it about like that and I'll select both of them and to make sure that they're uh, aligned properly I'm gonna click up on my uh, alignment tools and the left align to make sure that they're aligned and if you don't see these alignment tools you can go up to window down to align and it'll bring up all your alignment tools right here I'm gonna just click off of those okay so now with both of these uh, shapes selected that we made I'm gonna go up to um, object down to blend and down to blend options I'm going to do uh, make sure that the spacing is uh, set to specified steps and I'll go ahead and I'll stick with I think five here and we'll see how that looks um, we, we're gonna have to kinda just play around with this because I don't know how uh, how my spacing is right now so I'll just click OK and I'll go to object once again down to blend once again and down to make and actually that looks pretty good um, kind of perfect. Um, I'm glad that happened the first time. Okay, uh, so now with that shape selected, I'm going to go up to Effect, down to 3D, and down to Revolve. And I, you know, I probably don't have to mention this, but just make sure that with your blending steps, you get a shape that looks pretty much like this. Okay, so once again, I'm going up to Effects, down to 3D, and 3D uh, Revolve. And it, uh, you can click Preview again if you want, just to see what it looks like and you get a shape kinda like this um, I'll go ahead and click OK uh, that's not exactly what I was hoping that it was gonna look like so I'm gonna go ahead and scrunch it up a little bit and I'll scrunch it a little more until I get an effect that I wanted and you'll see kinda where, what I'm getting at uh, in a second here just kinda like I've been saying, just keep copying what I'm doing, and you should be fine. Okay, I'm going to go ahead. I think I'm going to go ahead with that. Uh, so you have a shape that looks just like this. Okay, I'm going to select it. I'm going to go up to Object, down to Expand Appearance. And uh, that's going to enable me to be able to um, expand it without it kind of changing shape. And that's what I'm exactly what I'm going to do. Um, first thing I want to do is I'm going to uh, take it and I'm going to with it selected uh, go over to one of my corners until it makes uh, this sh sort of shape with my arrow and I'm going to rotate it 180 degrees by holding sh down shift <clears throat> I take that back I'm going to leave it just the way it is because uh, if I flip it upside down the uh, shading is going to be on the wrong side in comparison to the light bulb so here's what I'm going to do I'm going to go ahead and just stretch it out so that it's about like this and I'm going to move it up on top of my bulb so that it goes exactly to where it should be on there and as you can see it looks a little stretched out so I can still go in and drag it out a little bit and it looks kinda like that and what I'll do is I'll click on it and I'll uh, press control shift well here I'll just uh, do it this way go to object transform uh, and uh, excuse me object arrange send to back and that's just so that the uh, light bulb shape is going over the top of this shape and I can kind of just manipulate it so that it's perfectly on it there okay I'll click on my light bulb shape and I'll go to a window uh, down to transparency and I'm gonna select multiply and that'll uh, show your uh, your ringlets through the light bulb
Okay, it's taking a couple seconds here. Sorry for that. Okay, and what we'll want to do is uh, actually let's go ahead and pull this to the top. So we'll uh, we'll go back to object, arrange, bring forward, uh, bring to front. And uh, it was still good that we did that so that we could get the the perfect uh, sizing on this. And we'll just move it down so that none of that yellow is showing below. And you have this shape here. Okay. Um, you can see that there's a little bit of space here that, uh, that possibly you wouldn't want. And you can kind of fix that by either putting a, a box behind it, which is what I'm going to do right now. But if you would have taken a little bit more time in drawing the shape originally, uh, you can kind of fix that at that point in time. And I'm just going to select a gray color. And this is just going to be a quick fix for this right now. And there you go. So that's what it looks like, and, uh, and that's what we have right now. And as you can see, we pretty much have a light bulb uh, shape here. And I'm going to go ahead and get rid of my guide because we don't need that anymore. Uh, so this is pretty much it. We have a, a basic light bulb. You can, uh, you can kind of draw it a little bit differently if you'd like. Uh, you can kind of go in with the pen tool and draw in a little point down here if you want to make it look like it comes to a point like a light bulb does. And, uh, and maybe you want to add a filament in the middle so you can just select your pen tool and kind of just draw one in. And I know I'm not explaining this very much uh, at this point, but this is just all basic pen tool work, so hopefully you already know how to do some of this. And if you don't, I do apologize. But I do want to keep the length of the video kind of to a minimum. Okay, so now I've, uh, I've made my filament, and I'll just turn it and make it black there. And you can... Uh, just take down the opacity if you want to make it look like it's in the middle. I'll take it down to 50. There you go. And there's our light bulb. And, uh, and that was a, a fairly simple way to make a 3D looking light bulb that's turned on in Adobe Illustrator. I hope you've learned something. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, if you're viewing this on YouTube, I encourage you to click the like button if you did like it. And uh, uh, please visit uh, Glazefolio Design Blog and follow me on Twitter and Facebook and tell your friends. Thank you very much.